Hey guys, what's up? It's Riot from VS3GFX. I'm going to show you how to make this effect in Cinema 4D. It'll be like a little, kind of like a vine going through your name, or whatever your text is. Uh, this is what it will, this is what it looked like when it was finished. I mean, I just added colors, you don't have to add a color. So, uh, let's just get started. So the first thing you want to do, I just want to make a new one real quick. Okay, go to MoGraph and text object, and then type whatever you want. So OGZX Riot. Put a font if you want. I'm just gonna type in my font that I want to use. And I'm gonna space it out a little bit. Like, watch horizontal spacing. I put it to 15 on that last one, so the, it kind of has more room to go through the little vine. The vine does. So next you want to click on the freehand tool right here and then go to this top box and go to front view. Zoom out a little bit and then draw. Oops. Click on freehand, make sure it's clicked, and then draw the type of thing you want. So I'm just gonna make it kind of simple. <laughs> uh if you want to know how to make it go through like the letter, I'll show you that in a second. It does that. So I'm gonna click back on that box and go back to perspective. The reason you go to front view is because it makes it go right in front of the text. So if you want to know how to make it go through a letter, you just zoom in on the part you want, and then you have to find a little one of these little dots, and then you can just kind of move it back. So it's like going through the letter, and you can just make whatever you want. I'm going to stop the video for right now so I can finish it, and then I'll go back and start it. Okay guys, uh, I added some fillet cap to the text by the way, if you thought something was different I put 15 for the top one and 5 for the bottom one. But uh, you don't really have to do that, I just did it because it makes it look better. So next you can go ahead and click on the freehand tool again, but hold it and go to foreside, inside, or any one of these that are connected except for text, you can put any one of these, I'm just going to put a circle. Click on the circle or whatever you put and make the radius 10, or make it super small. So whatever one you click, I mean, you can just put the circle if you want. And then go to this little box square thingy and go to sweep nerves. So you can like, if you drag it under there, it'll look like that. But see how it's kind of, it look it going through the text. You can just click on spline and turn it off and kind of make it like back behind it a little bit like that or in front of it. So it doesn't look like it's going through the text. So if I click on it, oops, and I do this, whoopsie, and then I drag this forward. You always got to keep that in mind whenever you're doing this, that, watch, see, like right here, it's going through it. I can just turn it down, I'm going to do that. It says ISO whatever, uh, you just put it to like three or something. Whoops, never mind. Put it to like 3, 30. See, it's like really skinny. It gets bigger to smaller, which is kind of dumb, but I mean. Let's change it back to 100. I'm just going to keep it like that. And then we can go through and figure it out. But you have to try to make it. It's, it's kind of, it takes a while to do. You have to actually work on it. But see, like, it's going right there. You want to click on spline and uncheck that and then push it forward. You don't have to uncheck the the sweep nerves, but it just it makes it easier to see those little dots like right here. You don't have to do that. Whoa. You can just kind of tell where the points are at. You just kind of try to like work your way around it and figure it out. And that's kind of how you do it. So once you have all the stuff going through the way you want, you want to like put on an auto keyframe. And you can put some colors if you want. I'm not going to for right now. And then go to zero and make a keyframe. And if you want to make a video, uh, you can go to 90. Or you go to zero and then you turn it. It says in growth, put it to zero. So it hasn't started yet. And then you go to 90, put in growth to 100. So it's kind of, when you watch it, it goes. it's going through. You can put whatever points you want. That's kind of how you do it, though. Uh, so if I go to, like, 20 
and it says 12.62, I can put it to 20. Just to do that, and it'll go faster and then slow down. So it goes faster and then slows down a little bit. But that's kind of how you do it. So thanks for watching, guys. It's Riot from VS3GFX, and comment, like, and subscribe.